and welcome back to TechStack channel. Today we'll try to explore one more topic, so which is related to the radio buttons and checkbox. So how we can select radio buttons like this, and as well as how we can check uh, and check these things. So once this is done, so how we can uh, get whether this is uh, able to identify check button is uh, enabled or not enabled. So we'll try to explore. The first thing. Let me go back to the UiPath Studio and we have this some activities which you call check option is here. So once you drag and drop this check button, so just try to indicate where you want to check this. So as of now, I want to check this automation testing. Okay, now I will try to run this bot. I mean, before running bot, go to these properties and we have this some options are available. So go to these actions. And we can check, uncheck, or toggle. So we will work only this check and uncheck. So as of now, this is not checked. So we'll try to work on the check option. Okay. And let me run this. So if I run this bot backend, it's uh, updated the check. So now what I will do, just go to these properties and I uh, will check this uncheck. So right now it is in the position of checked. Now when I run this bot, it will go to the uncheck. So now we can see this. So it got unchecked. So this is the one thing we did. So now the thing is, so I want to identify whether it got checked or not checked. So I don't want to go with this option. So I want to see whether this uh, check uh, green, I mean, blue color tick mark is enabled or not. We need to check that. So for the purpose, so we need to take this get text activity is there. Okay, basically we are getting the text from that. No? So same thing, we are getting that. So okay, let me indicate on the screen. So let me indicate. So I indicated here. Okay, now let me go to these properties and I need to create the data. I need to store somewhere this value. No? So for the purpose, I created one variable which we call temp. Okay, now let me run into step into mode. So it's running this bot. So now I store this value in the one temp variable now. So let me clear all this top. Okay, now we can see this temp. So this bot has checked. Okay, now what I will do, I will just uh, enable this one. I mean, uh, enable means uh, I unremote the check. So now I will run this bot. We'll see what it will give this data now. So it gives unchecked. Okay, so with the help of this, we are able to check automation testing is uh, checked or unchecked. So based on that, we can put the performance. This is another method. So if it is not there, we can go and check the check work. So this is the one thing. So another method is. So let me show you that another one. This is the normal click. So this is won't use that much help. So as of now, I will go with this. So just check. So what it will do now, it will just click on that button. So you'll expect whether it is checked or not checked. Okay, so just click on that. So when I run the same bot, so what it will do now, it will uncheck that one. So let me show you that. So I'm running this bot again. So now you can see this, it got unchecked. Okay, now how we can tackle this type of scenario? For example, just assume that you don't want to use this unchecked. The interview asked, so without uncheck, I want to check this button. Okay, so for that purpose, well, how we can do achieve means? So get text already, we got this data. Okay, now I will just take one if condition. Okay, let me take this if condition and here temp is equals to let me uncheck okay uncheck and then click this one if it is not then i don't want to click anything okay let me put it inside of this so interview will maybe ask like this kind of questions okay now it got unchecked okay let me run this okay get text let me Okay, let me check uh, UNCHC video. Okay, unchecked. This condition is correct. So now it got unchecked now, so it will click there. This is fine. So the same thing when I run this. So now already it's checked now, it won't click that option. So let me run that bot, that thing as well. So now, so it won't check because already it has checked. Okay, this is the one more method how we can do. So basically, everyone says check method, we can use this check input. If it is checked or unchecked, we can do that. But uh, interview some people, they ask like this. So I don't want to use this uh, check option, check activity. I want to go with something different. So 
they are doing like that only okay this is done this is the one thing how we can play with this check boxes okay now the next step is radio buttons so let me uh, remove all okay let it be i will keep one sequence i will make it as checkbox okay let me put each and every activity inside of this okay done and i will make it a name as checkbox checkbox checking status okay now i will take one more activity just i will check the click agree for uh, radio options we don't have that thing so let me try with the the thing uh, what we have previously done check let me try this uh, whether it will work or not for so we'll try to export this as well so as of now i not use just in this video only i'm trying to use that so i don't want okay i want to check this so let me try this how it will works so if you do export then only you will get the things okay this is also working fine so we can apply the same thing here also so whatever the condition downside i use the same thing we can uh, uh, do this one so here also here one thing is that so male and female have only the two things either you can select male or you can select only the female but when come to the checkbox if you want to select all the things just assume that uh, they told me uh, i need to click all the things so for that what we need to know we need to go with a different approach we'll try to do that as well right now okay now the radio check options also similar to the normal check boxes so so that's why i'm not exploring much thing so let me try uh, i want to select all the things for example if i have 10 if i have 5 if i have 2 i need to check all the things so for that the first step i will try to uh, extract data scraping uh, just a thought whether it is working fair or not and we need to see okay let me export the same thing again okay let me check okay i got the same things in the uh, two things okay this is fine we can do that but uh, we need to go to use the loop and we need to do that uh, let me use okay okay let me try this as well and i create the variable which we call the text again sorry temp again so every time i'm taking the temp so this is one thing which i am following but in the real time just put this Reader's purpose okay let me check this temp so if you observe this so automation testing and perform testings so here all the things came in a different way so if i use your split also so i'm not getting that thing so i need to go the different approach let me try with the screen scraping is enough one option we'll try how it looks so we need to go with multiple options multiple things so full text is not working native text let me refresh so this is also coming the data like this so it won't work for me because if i use the split width by space then automation came uh, testing something testing performance but there is no testing performance so that's why i'm not used to go with so let me try with this ocr it may be work or not sure okay if you see this ocr got the two things okay one is automating testing it came in the one line and uh, what is this ah, okay up to performance automating testing okay it's came in the u option i don't know uh, let me try let me click on this finish and i want to see this data how it's came okay let me go this inside and i need to the multiple variables on the okay let me remove all these not required i need only the temp as of now okay anyway i will keep outside now delete okay what is okay click it that's fine I need to go these properties and a white skin form. I'm thinking, uh, I don't know why it's came. Okay, I created the variable as well. Let me keep this top side. Okay, and I need to check this variable. It's under the test. Okay, it's fine. So I want to run this bot and I need to check. So as expected, data is coming or not i need to check 
okay so let me update this form not this a four rm okay yeah it came into the scope of uh, variable not in that let me do the testing uh, let me go one step back and i will put the debug i mean breakpoint here i will run that now we will see uh, what type of data it will throw okay let me go this inside and data is available in the form now so if you see uh, the data has been done automating testing but here performance testing is came i don't know what is the performance testing u performance uh, testing is there but here having the only the performance testing okay this is not uh, extracting as that accuracy okay now what we'll do okay, let me try this one time so i want to i mean i will go with the data scraping only because it's getting data so much clear so when compared to other things well i mean whatever it may be automation testing and performance testing are uh, coming in the two lines let me check uh, i don't have multiple yes so let me put it outside so why i'm putting means i don't want to go multiple uh, boxes inside so that's why uh, every time uh, i am doing like this so let me go and change this to testing okay now here i will do the string operation directly okay, let me now i don't want to use this one i am getting that uh, something uh, having a different format data okay okay i did something wrong data table so if you see here uh two are coming in the different way okay anyway i will use here for each activity normally so let me go and take these activities each row in data table and extract a data table and next i will use here one thing i will take as an activity or else uh, we can go with it directly okay anyway we need to use as an activity okay let it be uh, i will take for each activity here okay whatever here is enough i will update it here current row of 0 dot to string this is the data so since i i want to use the split operation with the help of a new line are coming so for that purpose i will use some dot text dot regular expressions dot split to use regular expression dot index dot split so here my value okay comma so i am splitting by new line now so i will select slash n so slash n which is nothing but as a new line okay okay this is the thing so whatever the data here are wearing now it's looping that now i will put message box here so just for checking purpose okay Message box. Let me take and try and that here. And current item. Or two. So either or two. A. Not two string. Okay. Let me put breakpoint one more time here, and I will run this. So we'll see how it's getting the data. Okay. Now it's go inside. Okay. If you observe here, it's give the automation testing. Now. it will give the performance testing and it will exit the loop so this is the thing now next step what we need to do now so go to this check box settings take this uh, check box directly so anyway i need to check all the things i told you now so let me update here and i need to go to this selectors let me indicate on this i need to click here now okay i did and if you observe here something has different titles let me go to open ui explorer so i will get something different so you can see this parent id okay class automation is a checkbox let me highlight the another one as well 
it will definitely having something different than both of them okay let me check it's having the performance the class id performance okay let me copy this enter and i will put it on notepad and i will indicate the first as well So title everything is the same. Okay, if you observe here, class extra is came here performance. So one is the automation is a class automation is there. Okay, and performance is there. So whatever the data is given, testing is common. Okay, now I need to do this one. Okay, for that purpose, I will declare one variable. Let me click on this. Nothing a problem. Let me click on OK. So here it's there now. So I will go inside here and I will take one variable. One variable and I will make it as uh, status. Let it be anything, it's fine. And I will tell this. Let me embed split of parent row, comma, so space of zero dot two not the correct something i missed current item not to spin i don't want to do this okay so split it will come zero on one now so zero is automated and one is of a testing so if you want to use you can use trim as well so it will remove the unwanted spaces okay now i will go to inside here explorer and i will make this as status okay this is done uh let me go to one step back here and i don't want to run the down sign huh? anyway debug breakpoint is there uh now i will remove this breakpoint okay and i'm running this part and it will let me go there so it will automatically and checking okay it has something issue it's got something issue okay what i did now so inside let me go inside if you see here uncheck is there available i think so so check type is unchecked so let me let me run three time one more time and now it will update the automatic checking checks so both the things are updated so with the help of like this so we can uh, do all checkbox or if you have 10 so it will go and check for the 10 okay so this is the way how we can achieve it so if you're not subscribed please subscribe the channel if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it make sure hit that like button share with your friends subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn off notifications so you never miss an upload